If comrade Kamala wins this November, World War III is virtually guaranteed to happen. Bloodthirsty terrorists poured out of the prisons after Biden and Harris surrendered Bagram. Peace in Europe has been shattered by the largest European land war since the fall of Nazi Germany. After attacking Kamala Harris over the state of the economy, Donald Trump is now tearing into her foreign policy. But he's not necessarily sticking to facts to make a point. Four Trump years. pretty much blamed his Democratic rival for Russia invading Ukraine back in 2022. He claimed Joe Biden dispatched Harris to meet with Putin in an attempt to stop the looming invasion. He said, remember when Biden sent Kamala to Europe to stop the war in Ukraine? She met with Putin and then three days later he attacked. How did she do? Do you think she did a good job? She met with Putin to tell him don't do it. And three days later he attacked. That's when the attack started. But here's the fact. There is no record of Harris and Putin meeting, ever. The reality is that Kamala Harris met with US's allies, including Ukrainian President Zelensky, at the Munich Security Conference days before Russia's invasion. But Putin was not at the conference. The Munich conference was held between February 18th to the 20th. Russia began its invasion of Ukraine on the 24th of February. The Biden administration was still trying to deter an invasion of Ukraine at the time of Harris's trip to the conference in Germany. But Biden himself believed that Putin was already moving towards invading. As Harris was on her way to Germany, he told reporters that he thought a Russian attack will happen in the next several days. On the 19th of February, Harris addressed the conference and warned that Russia will create a false pretext for invasion. It was only five days later that Russia did indeed invade Ukraine. Like Biden, Kamala Harris has been a staunch backer of Ukraine since Russia launched its full-scale military offensive. She has called Russia's actions in Ukraine horrendous atrocities, gruesome, barbaric and inhumane. Putin had earlier said Moscow would prefer Biden over Donald Trump because he's more predictable. But after Kamala Harris replaced him on the top of the Democratic ticket, the Kremlin said, there have been some statements which were full of unfriendly rhetoric towards our country. Donald Trump has repeatedly said he could settle the war between Russia and Ukraine in one day if he's elected president again. If we win, I'll get that thing settled before I take the office. I'll get it settled as president-elect. I'll get that war stopped. He has also claimed that his own strong relationship with Putin could have prevented the conflict. And again, I said to Vladimir Putin, I said, don't do it. You can't do it, Vladimir. You do it, it's going to be a bad day. You cannot do it. And I told him things that what I do, and he said, no way. And I said, way. And you know, it's the last time we ever had the conversation. He would, he would never have done I got along well with him. I hope to get along with, well with him again. You know, getting along well with them is a good thing, not a bad thing. I got along well with yeah. Kim Jong-un. Biden said, unlike Trump, Kamala Harris will never bow down to a dictator like Vladimir Putin.